Breaking news! John the Savage committed suicide earlier today. Also, Marcel's execution went off without a hitch earlier this morning. Lucky for you, we managed to get interviews with both of them before they died. After we talked to both of them, we noticed some major similarities. Let's find out. I'm here with John the Savage. John, can you tell me what it is that made you so popular? I don't really feel like answering that. Well then, what do you think of your life in this utopia? It all seems to me quite horrible. Okay. Do you feel that you've been rightly imprisoned here? I feel that we're being treated unfairly. But isn't that the point? You're deprived of your freedom. That's true. Otherwise, it wouldn't be punishment, I guess. Anyways, I hear you didn't cry at your mother's funeral. Can you tell me about this? So close to death, mother must have felt liberated and ready to live her life again. No one, no one at all, had any right to cry over her. Anyways, John, I hear that your mother died. Apparently it upset you. Can you tell me about this? She's my mother. Mr. Merceau, you know John the Savage, right? Well, if you could, would you like to switch places with him? You can never change your life. In any case, one life is good as another, and I'm not at all dissatisfied with mine here. I'm sure you're aware of Merceau. Do you think that you would have liked to live like Marceau before the murder? Oh, brave new world that has such people in it. Let's start at once. No, no, that, that, that was just a question. <laughs> oh. So, I hear you're dating Marie. Can you tell us about your relationship? We're getting married because she wants to, and I don't mind. Do you love her then? It doesn't mean anything, but I probably don't. Okay. So, I've heard rumors about you and Lenina. Care to explain? I wanted to do something first, to show I was worthy of her. Not that I could ever really be that, but at any rate, to show I wasn't absolutely unworthy. Yeah. I'm here with Lenina. Would you mind telling me what you think of John? If I didn't like him so much, I'd be furious with him. I see. Would you care to explain? He kept talking about knots and vacuum cleaners and lions, and making me miserable for weeks, and then he calls me a whore while I'm standing there naked waiting for him. Just a little bit too much information. So what's it been like for you in prison? When I was first in prison, well, the worst thing was that I kept thinking like a free man. I realized how closed in I was by my prison walls, that only lasted a few months, because you end up getting used to everything. Well, it was nice talking to you, Mr. Merceau. I hope you get a good verdict at your trial. I'm Bruce Nolan, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. So, John, how's living out in the country been treating you? It's okay, just as long as I can be alone. I need to escape for the contamination by the filth of this civilized life. I want to be purified and made good. Well, thank you for your time, John. I'm Ron Burgundy, and you stay classy, world.
And those were the last word we have heard from either of them. However, we did manage to get video footage of their deaths, which we will show now. But viewer discretion is advised. Shocking stuff. Let's go live to Casim G to find out what people think about John and Marcel. Casim G here. Find out what people think about Marcel and John. What's your opinion on Marceau? He was my friend, and he only spoke when he had something to say. What do you think of his crime, then? It was a mishap. You can't guard against it, so there you are. I think it was a mishap. So I hear you're engaged to Marceau. Can you tell me your opinion on him? He was... different. That's probably why I loved him. You know Marceau, right? What kind of person do you think he is? He was an honest chap, and what's more, a decent chap. Do you think Marceau is a cold-blooded killer who hates everyone? You have to understand, he was kind to my dog and I. Do you think Marceau is guilty? He's innocent, and it was quite by chance that he happened to be at the beach. Was he your friend then? Yes, he was my mate. As the person who brought John here, what do you think of him? John has a most peculiar way of talking sometimes, but he's my friend, and why shouldn't he be? What's your opinion on John the Savage? He's an interesting fellow, not unlike myself. You are close to John. What do you think of him? I took an immediate liking to him, and we've been close ever since. 